up? Welcome back to Poppins Approved. Today we've got the beautiful Lily J. Lori. I just received this in the mail and I had to pack it up really fast because I thought it was so pretty and I wanted to see kind of what it looked like on the body and the size of it because I wasn't really sure. There's not really very many videos of this particular bag on the body. And I love that it has the optional backpack style way to wear it. Obviously, you guys know by now that backpack style is my favorite way to wear my bags. But I also love having a good tote bag. And I think that this is a great size that it makes it a good combination for both. So it's big enough that it can be a tote bag, but also small enough that it can also still be a backpack and look cute while it's on your back. First of all, the tote straps themselves are nice and long. I love the length, the drop length here. Um, very easy grab handles to go. I don't think I'll really wear this bag messenger style because I have the backpack strap anchored here. So it's kind of a pain to have to take this off if you do want to wear it messenger style, but I don't tend to carry my bags messenger style anyways. So I will just probably leave that anchored on there and wear this backpack style and tote style. So I love this because I love how like streamlined and pretty it looks. There's not a ton going on on the outside except for you have this really beautiful Lily J tassel like always, but you do have this really nice magnetic pocket here and it's a pretty strong magnet. And I have tried to put my phone and my keys and like lip products in here and it all fits nicely and doesn't really bulk out this pocket. It still looks nice and streamlined. So I love that. So in here, few lip products, keys, and then I usually have my phone in there as well. Going on to the back side here, you have this really nice long zippered pocket and I can fit way more stuff in here. But right now I just have a small set piece. This is from Jujubee. This is my wallet and I have a couple um, be charged um, pieces in here from Jujubee as well. And those hold all my cards and cash and everything and I can even stick like receipts in there when I'm at the store. So I have found that that's probably one of my favorite wallets because I can just fit everything in. It's pretty compact. So I love that. Um, I have some other little odds and ends in here like um, a pen, a sharpie, tied to go pen and that's it for that pocket even though look how it goes about to right here on the bag. So it is pretty nice and roomy and big and again really nice smooth zippers from Lily J. Quality of the bag itself is really really nice. Something that I am a little bit worried, whoa, <laughs> something that I am a little bit worried about though is when you do have it backpack style it does pull up this part right there so you see how it kind of scrunches the bag a little bit so right there and right there I think the leather will just look pretty worn in those areas because I do like to wear my bags backpack style unless you have it super super full where those areas are really filled out on the inside um, I think those spots are gonna look pretty worn pretty fast. I mean, I just got this bag and you can see it looks kind of dented in right there already. So I don't know if that's maybe a good thing or a bad thing if you want your leather to look worn in, but it is super, super soft already. And I know I, I need to um, take some time and condition it and give it some love so that it stays nice. But um, I think that the leather here will look a little bit more worn than it will on the front of the bag just because of these backpack straps. So going on to the inside, something that I was really drawn to about this bag in particular is how wide and huge this opens. So you can just zip it open and really just like grab anything that you need to grab super easily. Um, I have in my last few videos, my only um, B sets that I have had are in this Jujube Black Magic print, which I love and it goes with so many things. But I was kind of wanting to try something new, something different to um, organize my bags. This particular bag does not come with the Lily Jade insert. So it was perfect timing. I actually got these yesterday. Now let me show you what the, they're called first. This is the Travelon. I always talk about the Travelon packing cubes, but these are a little bit different. They're called the Travelon um, packing envelopes and these are clear. Let me show you what that looks like. I got these on Amazon, so I will link this down below, but you get seven of them 
and it is cheaper than a B set. I, I don't remember the exact number, but I'll link it down below so that you guys can find it. I love that it's a clear pouch so you can see everything you want in there, but it also has a pattern on it. So it's these really pretty like blue leaves. You can see that. And it does, this big one does have a little tab here on the top. So you get this size, there's seven of these, you guys. And all of these, this stuff that I packed in here did not need to go in these pouches, but since I had it, I thought I would show you guys kind of the sizes and what they fit. So um, first one, this one is huge, and it, <laughs> let me just hold it up to the bag. It's a pretty big one. I mean, you could probably put tons of like clothes or blankets or whatever you want into this one if you wanted to use it for that. Um, for me, it's pretty big and I think I'm just gonna save it for myself when I am going on vacation or needing to go on trips and stuff. I'll use this for kind of my my things. Um, but the rest of them were good sizes for the diaper bag. I have the packing envelopes just on the inside right here and I'm just gonna pull them out one by one and then I'll go through the different pockets that are in the little jade bags. It does have a nice metal pull here for the zipper, so that's great. I like that. But I'm not gonna need to open it for you because you can see right in there, there's a white pouch here, there's size three diapers, and there's also an itsy ritzy wet bag in there. So this was a great place for diapers and wipes. I also have another smaller one. This size is like my mini med kit. It has um, some lotion, sunscreen, uh, band-aids, and their hand sanitizer, good stuff like that. So this was a perfect size for all of my medical things. This next size here I was using for snacks. So I do have a Be Meat bib stuck in right here, but the rest of it is just for snacks. There is this larger one here, and this one I used for a boogie board is in there, some play packs are in there, a couple books are in there. Um, also, I will stick my notebook in here sometimes if we're going to like the grocery store and it has my grocery list or to-do list on it. Um, this is a great little pouch to put all of that and keep it nice and secure and together. Kind of make it all thin. The last couple things just in the main part, you have another little pouch here and this one is what I've just stuck some wipes in. I don't usually put my wipes in a pouch, but just so you guys could see the size of it, I have um, boogie wipes, just regular all-purpose wipes, and then some Pacifica underarm deodorant wipes. So those are perfect fit for this one. The boogie wipes are a little bit tall, but I just kind of squish them down. All of these have little tabs on them here. So little like nylon tabs. That is always pretty helpful and useful. And then there's this really tiny one here that I think would be really great for like pens, pencils, things like that. But um, lately I've just been using this for my Bluetooth headphones here. And it's the, the headphones did come with a case, but the case was kind of ginormous. So this is kind of a little good little fit for those. And I love that these are so slippery because they can slide in and out of the bag really, really easily. So that's all the travel on envelopes. You have a ton of them. Um, and I like how the blue of this matches with the brown of the bag. I decided to go with the camel color of the Lori because I felt like it would be great all year round. And I did love the blush color as well. I just felt like I would use this one more often. And since these bags are a bit of an investment, I decided to go with the one that I thought would be most neutral and match with the most outfits and seasons and things like that. So I love, love, love this camel color. It has the gold hardware and of course the beautiful jade lining. So right here you have a pretty big zippered pocket. And back here I just have a coin purse that holds coins. And then in front, of that on this side. There are two slip pockets right here. I have a small set piece and then here I just have mommy stuff like compact floss, um, some chapstick, stuff like that. So little mommy things. I don't know, a couple like business card things and then some coupons. So just little odds and ends that fit nicely into that pocket and that I can grab quickly. 
So you can see down in there, it's huge and nice and beautiful. So far, no complaints about this bag. I actually think it looks really nice on the body. It's very cute. I was worried about it being too big because I, of course, want to wear it as a backpack. So I was worried about that being too large as a backpack, but I think it's actually going to look really, really great and cute. And, um, if I wanted to wear it as just like a purse for date night, a little tote, I think it'll be great for that, which is what I wanted because if you're buying a bag like this, you want it to be for much more than just like a diaper bag. And this technically isn't even a diaper bag. It's from their lifestyle collection. And so this is meant to be just like a cute tote backpack that you can wear um, for travel and just everyday life, even if you don't have any babies. I think it's gonna be great for both purposes. If you have any questions about this particular bag, um, let me know in the comments down below. If you have any questions about these travel on envelopes, for sure leave the comments down below. I'm sure you'll have lots of questions about them. Um, I will possibly do a video on their own if you guys would like to see them again, but I'll link it down below so that you can check them out. If you're new here, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss any future reviews and we will talk to you guys later.